So what up everyone and welcome back to Dual Wisdom. I'm your host SVG and today we've got ourselves a 42 inch 5 in 1 collapsible light reflector. So right here we've got the 42 inch 5 in 1 collapsible light reflector. Now you might be thinking that ain't 42 inch. Now you're right but then you kind of overlook the word collapsible right there. This is a collapsed 42 inch light reflector and as a matter of fact this is actually just the packaging of it. Now as it is collapsible so what we are first going to do is uh, you know kind of like open it up from the zipper right here and that's basically all that happens. So then we take it out and the first thing is that here we have got the reflector. The thing however is that it's easier to just open it up not as easy to collapse it back. So the first thing that we're going to do right now is zoom out. Zoom out. Okay, perfect. So, as you can see, this is the light reflector, not so 42 inchy, but that, whoa. So that's pretty big. Uh, I mean, you know, just use me as a scale for Christ's sake. So this is basically the reflector itself. Uh, okay, that's it's kind of cumbersome now. Okay, as I was saying, it's easier to open it up, uh, but a bit tough to collapse it back. So if I were to like, you know, just go back in and close it like that, nah, that's not happening. But I'm gonna show you at the end of the video how you can, you know, put it back together as well. So just bear with me till then. So right now we've got this stuff with us. So what's up with the final one then? Well. There are more zippers in this, so as you can see, at the perimeter of this, we've got a zip going along all the side. Now the reason I got this was because uh, I was basically buying all the production rig and this popped up as well, so I was like, you know, why not make a video on this? So yeah, here I am making a video and uh, unboxing or rather unzipping the whole thing because there's not much cutting involved in there, you know, something that we don't do often. So yeah, as you can see, we are just unzipping it. Wow, okay, whoa, whoa, okay, something just slipped down there, it didn't it? Okay, so anyway, here we have the thing guys, as you can see, we have got a gold film over here. So this is again one of the five reflectors that you can use it as. One was obviously the silver one that you are mostly going to be using. Over here, as you can see, is the diffuser itself. This is the light diffuser. It's basically used to soften the light on the object of interest. So, you know, this is also going to be used a lot. Okay, so that's three. So where's the rest? So yeah, where's the rest you might be thinking? Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, you know, no, 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 I, I got it. Okay, so yeah, here, as you can see right here, this one, the back of it, this might just look black to you, but if you look at it in person, it's got this shiny uh, covering on top of it. It's like, a, it's meant to be that. It's not just some black cloth right there, you know, no, it's not that. Now, I don't really know how well it's going to work with the lighting or how much I'm going to use it. But anyway, this is uh, something that you can use as well. You can just try it out with your own shots and if it fits, then you can go on with it. So you're not food for thought, but anyway, uh, so that's four. Where's the fifth one? Well, if that counts as one, so does this. Right here, we've got a white one. Now, this is something that I might actually use. The silver one is a bit too shiny, so it reflects the light a bit too much. But the way this reflector is going to reflect the light on an object, it's going to be somewhat similar to the walls. Uh, when it comes to, you know, reflecting some light on the object itself. Now, this is some you know this is the light effect that's used as a more subtler uh, effect on the object so yeah this is also heavily going to be used uh, but all in all this is like a lot of cloths and this being the basic thing that's going to be used for the most part and uh, this is the basic structure uh, you know so that's basically the gist of it and now we're gonna put all this back together because you know as I said opening it was easy part Putting it back together was the tough one. So before we do all that, over here there's one more thing I want to show you. So over here, as you can see right here, this is what can be used to hang it on something. You might not want to waste a person holding it on the set, you know, so you know that's one thing. So yeah, let's put it all back together and then we are going to try to assemble it back and put it back in the, you know, this packet itself, the small thing, you know, I mean just 
Take the comparison for Christ's sake. This is the size comparison. All right, so there we go. All right, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be, but you know, anyway, so now that is out of the way. Now we've got to pack it back together. Now this is the tough part. And even tougher is to show it on camera like that. So, uh, you know, the first thing is you want to hold from the right side with the thumb on your side. That's basically how I got it. And on the other side over here, you're going to put the thumb on the back side and your four, the four fingers towards you, you know, towards you. So that's how it's going to be like the thumb here towards you and the other four fingers towards you. Then now we've got to twist it like that. And then we kind of kind of put it like that in and voila I'm not gonna tell you how many takes that took that okay that okay ah uh, that stuff okay, wait 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 whoa 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 they're almost there yeah 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 whoa no but anyway once it's packed like this so it's not going anywhere unless you you know genuinely want to open it up. So it's fairly easy to pack it back inside. So that's what we're going to do. As you can see now, they're fairly equal in size. So that's not going to be that tough to put in. Still, let's do this. So we'll put it in like that. Yup. Whew. Okay. You also get this, uh, this tiny loop so that you can hang this itself as well so that's really nice all in all i really think that this is a really useful utility when it comes to photography or even you know shooting something so uh, this was a short little video that i thought that you know might be helpful some people who are thinking of buying this and uh when they got it they were just a bit confused as to how to open or close it so uh i mean i hope it helps some people and if it does, that's all that really matters. So, you know, thanks for giving your time. And if you liked it, please do make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Comment down below also some nice things. I, I won't mind, really. But anyway, guys, this would be it for this time. But do make sure to check in again, guys. And so you. to a shiny life.